Hi, my name is Chris Johnson, and I'm an attorney and one of the partners here at Tegas McGinnis Elder Care Law. Planning for the care of our elder clients is not simply transferring resources to protect assets from the nursing home. At all times, the highest goal of our planning is to promote and maintain the good health, safety, well-being, and quality of life of our clients. Although asset protection may be a function of the life care plan, it is never the purpose of the plan. Here is the way we often explain what we do every day for our clients. We help them find, get, and pay for good care. That's not as easy as it sounds, but for an elder-centered law practice, it is the essence of what we do. One fundamental factor that impacts how we do this is where the elder is located on the elder care continuum. Think about the elder care continuum as a timeline on which the client is moving along at the end of his or her life. The ideal for all of us is to age in place, we all want to live independently in our own home with no assistance needed until we die peacefully in our sleep. Some people have the good fortune to depart this life in this manner. Many, however, do not. Some people end up with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or another chronic disease. Some people find themselves the victim of a sudden illness like a heart attack or a stroke. In all cases, people find themselves moving along the elder care continuum, some quickly, some slowly. They find that they need assistance with activities of daily living, such as eating, bathing, dressing, toileting, and transferring. When people are unable to perform these activities, they need help in order to cope, either from other human beings or mechanical devices, or both. We are all on the continuum, whether we realize it or not. Sometimes the changes aren't as sudden as a stroke that comes out of nowhere. Sometimes the changes are barely noticeable. Sometimes they happen gradually over time as a byproduct of aging. Perhaps you now need reading glasses, or maybe you now hire someone to clean your gutters instead of doing it yourself. Measuring a person's ability to perform the activities of daily living is an important part of assessing a person's position on the elder care continuum. It's important because a person's ability or inability to handle the most basic self-care tasks can often predict whether he or she will need to go to a nursing home. It can predict whether a person will need hospital services. It can also predict a person's mortality. In other words, when your care needs don't line up with your care services, you're in the danger zone. The more we can match services to a client's needs, the less likely he or she is to have a catastrophic medical event. Care comes with a cost, but not getting the right care when needed can be even more costly. To learn more about how Tegas McGinnis helps families find, get, and pay for good care, contact our office.